When I listen to music, I see places. I imagine what piece of music will belong where and what emotion it will bring out. It makes me feel invincible, like there are no worries in the world. That I'm free to just go and exist. <laughs> This is Devas, a beautiful town in Madhya Pradesh, India. My father grew up here with his family. Whenever my sister Adya and I get a chance to visit Devas and spend time with my family there, it makes us very happy. I have a set of naughty twin cousins, Adhish and Adhishri, and my soul sister Astha there. The five of us, when we come together, are a team. <laughs> we are a team of explorers who aren't afraid of anything. We share our thoughts, ambitions, and uplift each other. But most of all, being together instills in us an endless amount of energy. That is before we collapse on our beds, tired with all the musty from that day, of course. The last time I went to Devas was just before I had to leave for college in the U.S. I was lucky to celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi with them, and after that last time, I can vouch that we topped every previous visit. Going there makes me feel different because I realize that a part of me that doesn't exist in Mumbai comes out. I feel more sensitive, more inspired, and I wake up. I wake up from my flawed nature and walk around and question myself. I see the beauty in simplicity. And well, I start breaking the mold I have created. The truth is that this part of me exists. It always has existed deep inside me. I just don't let it last. The boss is imperfect, you see. There's pollution and big roads and sadly it will also continue to get commercialized in the upcoming years. But the boss is more than that. Devas lives in the memories of the trees planted by my great grandfather. It lives in the stories I have heard growing up. It lives in its soil and water. There are no boundaries to it. It is an expanse of raw beauty. Being near the earth uplifts us no matter how tiny that patch of life might be. Ma finds peace in the little gardening she does outside our window. It's her dream to own a farm and grow her own world in it. Devas shines during monsoon. It makes everything seem alive. Sometimes this one particular wave of wind brings with it a distinct smell that brings back so many childhood memories. I remember as a kid I would go eat the wet soil and it would taste sweet. Astha and I would pour all the new bottles of shampoos and powders and creams and mix them up in the bucket while showering. I don't know what we were thinking. <laughs> The bottom line among all this chaos in the world is that Devas is a piece of music with its history and heritage and its people. Going there and being a part of that town's rhythm breaks my usual habit and makes me feel free. And as I am saying this, I know change doesn't happen at once, but I know that I am just one change away from being a freer person. I do not want to be a big city kid, nor a small city kid. I do not want to be defined by these useless aspects of life. I want to be a part of a song that I can dance to in whatever way I like. In Mumbai and New York, I have the whole world on my lap. But there, the world can be experienced in the little things, being one with nature. I am part of that earth.